Welcome to Ghana. Welcome to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here. And if today is your first time seeing this annoying face on your screen, can you do me a favor? Subscribe and be part of the YouTube family as we are about to reach a million subscribers. You know what? I'm actually doing something different. I'm actually meeting one of um, the biggest inspiration in my life. I'm actually meeting somebody that I didn't know anywhere, but I became a PR for him to the extent that anyone that knew me in china thought that i'm a brother of this guy but i'm i was not a brother um i always want to tell you something yeah i want to tell you something always support people that you don't know because trust me the people that made me who i am today are strangers so i don't take each and every one of you for granted i know you don't know me anywhere but some of you see me as your son some of you see me as your nephew some of you see me as your brother i mean this is what makes the community of YouTube beautiful and I've supported Michael Dapa for decades and I never knew a day will come he will actually reach out to me and say that hey Maya I want to link up with you I mean sometimes when people support you also be grateful that's why I always come in here I know I cannot be able to get in touch with each and every one of you but I'll use my platform to say Thank you so much for loving me. Thank you so much for being part of this awesome family. But hey, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm not a motivational speaker. I just want you to come with me as I go meet my biggest inspiration. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. GH, you were chrome? Ah. Yes, <laughs> my guy, you know. What the Maya? I am Maya. Huh? Uh. What the Maya? <laughs> Mr. Ghana, baby. <laughs> huh? <laughs> the most annoying village boy. Ah. Huh? You know all that? Uh, come on, bro. What come are you on, saying? Come on, bro. We're locked in, bro. I'm proud bro. of you, man. That's Thank really, you so really much, well, man. Bro. You're going towards a million subscribers. Almost a million. No, but I can't catch you up, man. No, no, 1.9, no. man. No, no, Jeez. No, no, no. <laughs> 1.9. Bro, it's not a competition. No, it's, it's not a competition. It's just yeah? about if you're enjoying and you're loving it here. Exactly. That's what it's like. Numbers don't mean nothing. Thank you so much. Numbers man. is just numbers. You need, to, you need to let people know that numbers don't mean nothing. No, no, numbers don't mean nothing, bro. Numbers don't mean nothing. Are you, are you fulfilled in here? The impact alone. That's what it is. That's what I understand. I'm YouTube, if, you, if, you get, if you get 50k views, 2k views, 150 views, 1 million views, bro, it's in here. Do you understand? Are you doing what it is that you know? In here. You know what I'm saying? That's what's important. Numbers numbers come and go. Because overnight, you I'm can wrong. spike. The next day, you're down. Do you understand? Sorry. And then you can go back. It's just so like, see, I always tell people, don't get hell bent on the numbers. Exactly. It's, it's, it's what you're doing in here. Uh, I, it goes, party beat thing, okay? Money count up. I know who you are, yeah. and like I told you earlier, you're one of the biggest inspiration in my life. I think if you check all my social media handles, yeah. you are there. Seriously. I posted it four years ago when you said, eight years ago you couldn't travel. Yeah. If you remember that post. On Twitter. Eight, yeah, on Twitter, like eight years ago you couldn't travel, but it's the eighth time you're catching a flight. Mm -hmm. And I posted that, yo, you know what, believe me, I will get there someday. And that time I couldn't even afford a train ticket. Wow. And now here I am, man. I, I look up to you, bro. And train one country so far, and I want to tell you an inspiration. Thank you, my bro. It's good to see you in person. Good to see you. Look at me. Yeah, I've made it in life. <laughs> <laughs> I've made it in life, man. This look at me. Yo. yo. Yeah. And it's a pleasure meeting you, man. My but brother. I know there are so many people watching us who don't know who Michael is. Yeah. If you can tell us something about yourself, who is Michael, man? What's going on, my beautiful people? <laughs> my name is Michael Dapa. The thing goes Dapper. <laughs> Ota asked me, my brother, he's got a pumpy. You know, Ghana to London, London to Ghana, we're in the building, you know? Um, I don't even know what else to say. You can look me up and you're gonna find everything that you need to know about me. But, you know, I'm here with my brother Odemaya. It's, it's, it's beautiful that we're here in Ghana, Accra. It's 
been a nice day today, man. Exactly. You had a whole day today. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. You know, it's been nice. But I, I want to know, yeah? Um, yeah. What, what really inspired you to yeah. do what you do, man? What really inspired? Do you know what it is? I love, um, I love entertainment. Back to a bench. I love people, I love life, I love God. Thank you. Most importantly, above everything. And you know, it's just everything that I see. You feel me? I, I was telling my, I was telling some of my team earlier the other day that, you know, my thing is I love creativity and performance. And my job as a detective yeah. is to crack down crime. You feel me? Yeah. And I feel like creation is an art. You know, we're all blessed to be created by the Creator and we've all, we all have bits of creativity within us, you mm. feel me? And so for me, to be able to create, I think is the most powerful gift. And so, you know, I, I love and I embrace it. And that's what really inspires me, just the fact that I think it's crazy that now we are blessed to live at a time where we're able to create and we're able to, to, to just do so many amazing things, like even this, when we went to the market, I was just looking at it, just admiring it, that, yo, this came from someone's brain. This come from someone's head. Do you get where I'm coming from? Exactly. And this is just beautiful. Just the fact that they were able to think of how to sculpt it, then mold it, then the colors, then, oh man. You know what I'm saying? And even little things like something, something like this, that someone might just think, oh, this is just a little, yeah, it's something piece, of that you, piece of art that you hang on your wall. But, when you look at the fact that like, this came from someone's brain, you feel me? I think that is the most powerful thing. And it's just beautiful because create, creativity runs the world, you know? And so that's what really inspires me. I'm inspired by, I'm inspired by so many different things, bro. You know, even coming to Ghana, meeting people like yourself, everyone I connect with over here, King Promise, you know, Kwasi Alpha, Joey B, you know, Kiddy, like, all these different, different all these different people, Cheddar, you know, mm. Nanakwa, I mean, like, the people that are just really doing great things out here. My uncles, my auntie, even my grandma, coming and seeing my grandma. Like, they, they, and, and I met some amazing creatives yesterday. Um, you know, Tribe of God. Uh, oh, there's so many people uh, mm. that I, I, I'm, bro, even Eric from Twist, I just love his vibe, his energy. Um, Ah, oh, where's these people, man? I, we, there's, I, there's so many things, bro. I, I want to know, yeah? I know you to be Big Shaq. Yeah. yeah. Boom! Big Shaq, Big Khaled. What are we saying, Khaled? They don't want us to win, so we're going to win more. Before Big Shaq, yeah. what were you doing? Before? Big, big Shaq. Ah, oh, bro. You, yeah, they, we was working same way before. Big Shaq got birthed off the back of a series, right? Called Swill. Mm. Somewhere in London. Mm. So if you type in Swill, S W I L, you know, um, you're gonna be able to see, like, you know, where the, where that particular character comes from. Do you get me? Mm. You know, I'm in London right now, cause that's where it's at, and I'm trying to pursue my dream of being an actor. You know, y'all got that. Um, you know, and he's just, Bishak is just one of my creations and one of my alter egos that we play the creativity yeah my brother do you see what that i'm saying to big shot. yeah bro so that, that, that's what i'm saying like comedy comedy acting music it's always been a thing for me would you say like man's not hot mm -hmm. change your life the thing goes it definitely did it definitely it definitely i believe like it was a uh, it was a it was a it was a great it was a great moment to to take me because I, I was I had I had a uh, a decent level of fame mm. and success prior to that you feel me but then obviously when you create a record like that and you know you're blessed by the man upstairs for mm. it to go where it goes you don't know you know, it, it takes you into diff a different stratosphere. That song was global, bro. Yeah, bro. And how did you make you feel? How did I what? How did you feel after seeing your song everywhere? I mean, people singing your bro, song. Bro, I, right I didn't even know, bro. I just like, I didn't even know what was going on. You yeah, know what I mean? You ever cry in your room, man? 
Like, they, they have know, a crime in my room? You know, know what it is? I think some things are happening, you just look up to God. God, why me? You know? Nah, I've definitely had, I've definitely had those <laughs> moments. I think like, I've definitely had those moments. I think there's, I've had several moments. You know, that, 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 that moment is definitely one. I think sometimes when, it, when you're on a stage and you're performing in front of so many different people, it's, it's, it can be very overwhelming. But, you know, certain things that I do can be very overwhelming because remember, I always see things in my head mm. before it comes to life, right? Just like you see things in your head exactly. before it comes to life. And so to be able to have ideas on a, or an idea and bring it to life and, you know, for it to touch so many people in different ways and you create it in your mum's house or your mum's kitchen or something or, you know, like you, you something you create on a plane or wherever it is. And for it to touch so many people in different ways, whether it's, whether, you know, some people have an emotional connection to it. I meet kids that, that is their, their, their thing that brings them joy. It's a blessing. How can I, how can I not be thankful? You get what I'm saying? Are you planning to move back to the continent anytime soon? Yeah, no, I'm going to be definitely spending more time here, bro. Like mid, mid, usually before, I would only come in December, but you know, this is middle of the year and we're out here, bro. Like, you know, it's beautiful to be out here. It's nice to come in and take in Ghana for just Ghana, you know, not, not for like, <laughs> taking Ghana for Ghana, cause you know, you want crumb? You want crumb? No, 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 taking Ghana for, taking Ghana for Ghana. It's just sick, it's nice, it's beautiful. To, to, to be with the people. Are you seeing any progress so far? Bro, I've seen progress, bro. I, like I, I said, I think I tweeted the other day that when I come to Ghana, I feel proud because of the progress that I see. You have to remember, like, there was a period of time that I didn't come here for, like, nearly, but nearly 20 years, bro. Remember, because I was here when I was a baby. And just the development that has happened since then, and then I think I came when I was maybe in secondary school, mm -hmm. you call it, JSS. JSS. Yeah. yeah. I came to secondary school. The progress that I've seen from then to now, coming here as an adult, bro, it's amazing. Do you know what I'm saying? Just in terms of like uh the the infrastructure, the roads are better. Mm. You know, when I, when I was younger, bro, the roads are terrible. Terrible, bro. Roads are better. Even like having like uh just just the, the people even seeing creatives now really, really doing their thing. We weren't doing that before. Mm. And so when I talk about like growth, there's so much growth that I, I see through the people. And sometimes when you're somewhere, you don't get to really see it. Mm. And you know, like yourself, like I said, I'm, I'm proud of to, to see, you know, a brother like yourself representing the continent the way that you are growing. You know, you're unapologetically yourself. And that's what I love. You get what I'm saying? And that's what's important. So. It, Things like that make me proud. So when I when I come home, like and you know the, the artists that do their thing, the actors, the the visual creatives. Like yesterday, I met some amazing visual creatives and creative directors, and I was just like, yo, that's these are the things that make me proud. Like yo, like I can come to GH, and you don't think, oh, let me bring all these people and nah, bro, GH is home, and that's what makes me proud. Every everywhere's got their problems. Don't get me wrong. Everywhere's got their problems. And I know GH has got their pro it's, it's problem. It's not perfect. Exactly. And nowhere on no the world is perfect. Nowhere's perfect. Nowhere's perfect, bro. Nowhere's perfect. Nowhere's perfect. So yeah. for me, I just like, you see, I always look at things from a different perspective. When there's problems and there's things that I always, I always try to look for how far we've come rather than how far we have to go. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look at how far you've come and you think, Rod, right, you know what? 10 years ago, we were here. Yeah. Five months ago, I was here. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And you, that progress can inspire you and push you for what's next. And that's what's important. If we focus on the progress. It's always good to, you know, when, 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 when things happen, you can look at it two ways. You got a negative and you got a positive. But it's up to us how we look at it. You feel me? So my people are Ghana. You know, I'm, I'm proud. I love all my Ghanaians deeply. And thank you for your love, your support. Those that know the boy and those that don't know the boy. And thank you for supporting my bro, you know. Thank you for being behind him, pushing him, you know, pushing the culture of what we're doing out here. 
It's a beautiful thing. It's amazing. My, my, my final question. Talk to we me. We have a lot of young Africans watching us right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a message that will inspire many of them, yeah. what would that message be? My message is, first you love God, then because I believe that that is the true source of life, whether you believe it or not, that's what I believe. And then secondly, is um, follow your heart, man. Follow your heart. I believe that like every single one of us has a, an instinct and we've been blessed with an instinct and you know in your heart what it is you want to do, what it is that you want to be, you know. What they was telling me that he started and he was at 100k subs and he's grafted it out and he had a big decision to make on whether he was going to keep going, whether he was going to stay in China and go and work a boring job or he was going to take the risk and jump and do YouTube and content creation full time. And you know, he said this is the best decision he's made. And so follow your heart. Your heart, your heart, your heart will always guide you, you know, in terms of like, where is you want to do, where is you want to be. And don't be afraid. It's never a mistake. It's always something you can learn from. I feel like right now, the generation we live in, everyone's scared to make mistakes because everyone wants to look a certain way. You want to present yourself a certain way. Don't be scared, it's fine. There's, I've made many mistakes. I've made many, not mistakes, I've had, I've made things that are mistakes, but they're lessons. They're never an L. An L is never a loss, it's a lesson. Do you get what I'm saying? Everything I've ever lost from or has gone left, I've always turned into a lesson. I've learned from it. Embrace your lessons, embrace your flaws, and keep going, man. None of, none of us is perfect in that nothing that we do. Just keep going. And that's, that's my message to the people, man. And last but not least, bruv, I love you lot, man. Do you know what I'm saying? I love meeting the people out here. I love the love that you show me. And I appreciate you lot, genuinely. And like I said, thank you for supporting my bro, man. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, a, it's special. I'm glad. I'm really, really proud of you, bro. Thank you so much. Man. I'm really, really proud of you. And um, I'm more proud of you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> my boy. I'm, more proud of I'm, you, re man. I'm really, really proud of you, man. Uh, thanks for giving me the chance to see you, man. Come on, my boy. Come, Come on, my on. boy. Come on, my boy. <laughs> this is what we're about. <laughs> GH. Collaborate. Eh? Yeah, what chrome? Chrome. Yeah, collaborate. I know I don't know. I know I don't know. I know I don't know. Eh? Who say? Mimi so me show. Eh? Big up, man. Big up. You don't know the thing. We're over here. GH. Give us a freestyle, man. Freestyle. Yeah. No. <laughs> One more time. Last but not least. Okay. Secure the package. I was cutting racks and you did chicken shop with babe.